And now to the Trump presidency. And once again today, President Trump took to Twitter to criticize the media, Democrats, and James Comey. CBS 4's Brooke Salva Braga has more on the president's weekend in New Jersey. President Trump dropped in on a wedding at his golf club in New Jersey Saturday night. Sunday morning, he renewed his attack on the former FBI director for sharing their private discussions with the press, tweeting, I believe the James Comey leaks will be far more prevalent than anyone ever thought possible. Totally illegal? Very cowardly. Is he getting in the way of his own agenda? Yeah, totally. Senator Lindsey Graham said the tweeting makes the president his own worst enemy. Here's what's so frustrating for Republicans like me. You may be the first president in history to go down because you can't stop inappropriately talking about an investigation that if you just were quiet would clear you. The president says he'll reveal next week if there are recordings of his talk with Comey. If there are tapes, he should make them public right away. If there aren't tapes, he should let that be known. Uh, no more game playing. Republican Senator Susan Collins called the unusual one-on-one -on -one meeting with Comey very inappropriate, but not necessarily malicious. The president clearly does not fully understand or appreciate the boundaries, but he should. I'm not excusing his behavior. The investigations into Russian meddling in the election and whether the Trump campaign played a part continue. Attorney General Jeff Sessions will testify before the Senate Intelligence Committee on Tuesday. Brooke Silva Braga for CBS News, New York.